In this video, we'll be reviewing the various ways in which you can change the way your forms function. To get to the form page, click Settings and Forms. On the form editing window, you'll be confronted with a number of options. If a form is mandatory, it means that a user's form status cannot be marked as complete until all of the mandatory fields on that form have been completed. A form marked as mandatory will appear as a red circle. The admin form option means that only your admins will be able to see this form. This can be a useful feature if an admin has to fill out a form for a user's registration without the user having access to it. An admin-only form will have a little admin next to the form status bar. Lock form once completed will stop users from going back and changing their answers after they have submitted the form. This can be used to prevent users from changing product selections or to lock sensitive information. A lock will appear next to the form status bar when it's locked. The next option is a roadblock for your registration and will show up as a circle with a line through it next to your form. This will prevent the user from clicking Go to Next Step until that form is complete. The option Allow Anonymous Applicants to Fill Out Form will make your form accessible to users who have not chosen a login email or created a password. The word Anonymous will appear next to your form status bar. Delete Form will deactivate your form and move it to the Deleted Forms section, while Deactivate Form will leave your form in place but make it invisible to your users. Finally, you can choose when the form is complete. Either when all of the mandatory fields are complete, when the fields are complete and the form has been viewed by the user, this setting is ideal for things like agreements, card approvals, payment plan selections, or anything else you want to be sure the user has viewed, or only when it has been marked as complete by you. Thanks for watching.